Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer. Last time we left off, we went through Route 42 and we explored a little bit of the cave. Uh, and, you know, it was just kind of overall mess, to be honest. Like, well, I started off sitting up straight and with kind of a train of thought, and then I picked up my cat and became super mellow and just kind of went downhill from there. This time, we're heading to the Lake of Rage because story. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like last episode was a mess, but I gotta keep it, of course, because I can't just drop it. Um, I've already had one episode of a previous series where I just kind of dropped it out due to me being stupid. So, I don't even want to say that, because honestly, it was like a miserable time, and I just... I, did not, I needed the recording done, but I was not ready for it. And it ended up really messing me up. But whatever. Well, enough about that. So... Um, like I said, we're going to the Lake of Rage, uh, for story reasons, blah, 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 and, yeah, that's really about it. You know, I don't really have much to talk about, because I haven't really done other, anything, like I said last episode, except for Plague Kingdom Arts. And, honestly, um, now that I've played three, I do want to stream all the other games at some point, and just have that experience with some people. Um, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, yeah, I've had friends and everything to talk about it, but, it's, but I've never shared my experience with anyone. Like, it's one thing to- oh, he's a dark type, oh, I forgot. But, like, it's one thing to play a game and just talk about it with someone, but I like to share the experiences with people. You know, like, with, um... With Pokemon Soul- or, call, with Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer, um, I just started that for me, like, eh, I just wanted to stream, but, you know, it's something that I've always enjoyed the idea of, I've always wanted to make, like, YouTube videos or just stream on something, because I just like making friends and just chilling with people, you know, I just want to do that, I just want to make people smile or laugh or just make someone's day a little bit better, you know, and, you know, even though Pokemon Coliseum Randomizer started off as my own thing, um, so far every stream, uh, a s specific person, I don't know if I want to be named, so I won't name them, but they're really cool. I consider them a friend now, and I've made them a legit friend through the act of streaming and recording, just talking to them. And I thoroughly enjoy it! And Pokemon Coliseum has not only just become a me thing at this point, but it's kind of like a both of us thing, because he will come on, he will react with me, he'll just, just overall just have fun. And I love it, to be honest. Like, it makes streaming like 20 times more fun, you know, whatever. It's, it's like, whatever. Ah, oh, I'm a Feebass, ah. Uh, I know, I know about them Feebass and stuff. I'm pretty sure up ahead there's gonna be another thing. Because honestly, I don't. I. So, since I'm playing games that I haven't played in a long time, I just don't remember how a story goes. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum, you know. Even, uh, even though I'm live, I don't like going on just Googling things just because, you know, I'm. Just, I'm, just, I'm People call in there to watch stuff. They don't want to see me get lost and confused for like shit. That's this is our encounter for this route. I hate this thing. Um, one thing I do feel like I might need to clarify is though there is a stationary encounter up ahead. It will not count as our Lake of Rage, Lake of Rage encounter. All stationary Pokemon are counted as their own things. So you know, say we go fight Lugia or whatever in the World Islands, you know, that's an event Pokemon, it's a stationary thing. It doesn't count towards the overall encounter for that cave or whatever. I just wanted to make it clear, you know, since some people might not be 100% on... They, don't, they might not know the rules, like, that I'm going by, and I can't blame them because, honestly, I just kind of got enjoyed explaining them. And, you know, I still talk about breaking the rules every once in a while, even though I don't want to. Um, but yeah, compared to recording, I do find streaming a lot more fun. Um, recently I do think of making more content involving other people, 
Uh, mainly because I just... I have more fun recording with other people than I do with myself. I just don't... It just doesn't feel normal to me. Like, I want to go for, like, what the Game Grumps do. But during streams. I just, like... I just want to share experiences with people. Like... Let's see. I'm trying to think. Uh... And there was a time in middle school where me and my friend would just come home after school and we'll come to my house after school and we would just sit and just try to beat a game, you know? Uh, I think the first one was uh, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Then we moved on to uh, Luigi's Mansion. We may have played Super Mario Sunshine. Oh. Super Mario Sunshine? Um, and then, even then, we played Persona 3 together, Persona 5, uh, even after he moved away, we played Persona 5 together, and if you're confused on how we did that, we basically just played the game at the same time, just making all the same choices and stuff. Which, you know, it might sound weird or stupid, but honestly, for how we like playing, it worked fine. And if we want to go back and play through ourselves, I mean, we can. I'm talking, but my cat is like scratching at my foot, so now I'm like, this is why people don't allow their pets in when they're recording. But, you know, I love my kitty, so... He's here with me. He's he's the one I'm sharing this experience with, uh, even though he does not give a flying fadoodle of what's going on on screen right now. Um, Kingdom Hearts... Hi, you like a fairy tool? Just, you didn't use a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Use the ho oh. Um, but yeah, like, I kind of wish I had someone to sit and play Kingdom Hearts 3 with. It's just. I don't know. I, try, I, no, I invited my brother up to play with me while I was playing. And, you know, he wasn't fully caught up on the story like I was, so he didn't understand what the fuck was going on half the time. And, you know, I don't. I don't hang out with him, because I generally don't like him that much, but I know he's a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, and I was like, you know, this game has been in development for like 13 years, you know, I just, I just want to try to be nice since he won't be able to play it till like, next month. And you know, I already have it, so you know, he, maybe I asked him if he wanted to sit down with me for a bit and just enjoy it, you know? So we sat... Why are there so many legendaries around here? And, like, I was really hyped for this game. But, like, just just because I wanted to be a nice person, instead of playing it at midnight like I originally planned, I sat until, like, 12.30, 1 in the morning, because he wasn't ready yet. You know, I was like, I was all right, I'll wait, I'll wait. But then we finally get to start playing, and he's just complaining the whole time. Like, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the game, and he's just like, This looks too realistic. Well, this doesn't look like Kingdom Hearts. This is bad. I don't like it. They're ugly. I'm like, dude, the game looks beautiful. Shut up. So I, I just, next day I just continued on without him, you know? I, I tried being nice, and he just kind of soiled it. Um, I actually had a better time sharing the experience with my cat uh, while going through a couple of worlds. He was just consumed with the amazement of just Donald and Goofy running around the screen like idiots. I think he thought they were like bugs or something and he was getting ready to smack my TV. But you know, that was more fun than just trying to enjoy something and have someone sit there and just call it shit. <laughs> And, like, it just wasn't for, like, a good, solid 20, 30 minutes. We, we, like, we sat, we started at, like, 12.30, and we played till, like, 5 a.m. Like, we got through two worlds, and I was like, I want to keep playing. But I want him to shut up. <laughs> so, like, I want to play Kingdom Hearts on stream, back to the thing. And then because, just, I haven't played those games with people, and that's one of the things I really want to do. That I never forgot to do. I'm um, probably gonna hold off until I can get my hands on an actual capture device because streaming from PlayStation 
though effective, it makes life a little harder. To... Um, I like. I, I want to strict. I want to stick to Streamlabs because it will tell you if your streams frames are dropping. You know, and you know if something pops up on screen, it doesn't completely black it out. Sure, just take my fucking phone number and leave me alone, sir. Like, if you're questioning why we went around that way and took the extra 10 minutes instead of going through that door, is because uh, if we go through the other door, Team Rocket's gonna make us pay a fee, and I ain't about that, you know? Um, if you say no, they don't even let you through, or bet with a battle or whatever, they just kick you out. But yeah, I wanna play Kingdom Hearts on stream just because, like, I just wanna sit through the beginning to the end with somebody. Uh, I played through the last world of Kingdom Hearts 2 with a friend, and that's because, you know, I couldn't get past a certain part, and, like, my disc was really fucked up, so they came over with their copy, and then we played from there, you know? We beat the game, and it was really fun, because, you know, they were really into it, I was experiencing it for the first time, and it was just fun to have that interaction. And though I can't have someone sit down in a chair next to me, you know, it's just it's nice to have someone in a call with you or just watching or, you know, PlayStation Now has a feature called Share Play, which even though it only lets you share play for 30 minutes at a time, which is really fucking dumb, you know, you could still play the same game and just talk with the same person seeing the same exact thing at the same exact time. If you have a good enough internet connection. Because if you don't, your friend will not have fun. One second. Three, two, one. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. But... I kind of want to apologize. I do that a lot. I apologize and I just ramble a lot. Mainly because I feel like me just talking about Pokemon as I'm playing Pokemon isn't the best. Though it, it, it'll make me get through an episode, but so I just want to bullshit. I just want to, I just want to talk about anything that happened, just anything interesting. And, you know, I don't normally get to do that, so... You know, this is like one of the only ways I talk, to just let things, just talk about how I feel about things. But anyway, it's just, uh, I'm sorry that I don't talk about Pokemon when I should be talking about Pokemon, but instead just kind of like, poop everywhere, basically. Fishing Guru's house, and I think we'll get the Super Rod here? I think, um, I need to catch the Gyarados first. But like I said, uh, Gyarados is angry, he'd be a bad omen. Uh, like I said, the Gyarados and the encounter I get here will be two different things. Um, now, the question is though, this Gyarados is shiny. So I'm wondering if the Pokemon that it replaced it will be shiny. Because this is a scripted shiny, like... Alright, so our encounter for the Lake of Rage is a Rhyhorn. Um, I was looking for a patch of grass, but it didn't seem like anything was popping up. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. So yeah, sorry for the whole ramble about Kingdom Hearts and just wanting to experience stuff with people who might enjoy it the same as you. It's just, it's, and I find more, I find having fun more. I, as you also might notice, I'm just terrible at speech and explaining things. I'm pretty sure I said that earlier. I have more fun just sharing something with someone and having a good time than just sitting alone and playing it by myself. That's really all I wanted to say. That's all really the only point I was trying to make. Uh, hopefully this doesn't knock Rhyhorn out. Um, I'm pretty sure... Not 100% sure. It's just going off memory alone, so this could be just all bull honky. But I'm pretty sure the 
quote unquote Gyarados is gonna be level 25. Which, either 25 or 30. Still not sure. But we have plenty of Pokeballs. We have a variety of Pokeballs in the room we can use. One, two, three. Yeah. Alright, cool. We got a Rhyhorn. She Thick is what we're gonna call her. Because when she evolves, she be thick. I don't know why I'm doing that. And we're gonna use thick with two C's. That's she tick. Right, she thick. Um, Gyarados should be in the middle of the light. Yep, right there it is. And we're gonna heal up with a super potion before we do anything. Um, because we honestly don't know what this is, what it could know, or what it could do to our team. Metalhead should be fine, just in case. That was my bad. Just in case, you know. Let's, let's pop a potion on him. That wasn't a Gyarados stream. It's a shiny Weavile! Oh man. Well shit, we just got this cool... We're gonna have to replace Morgana because I want to use this. Battle of the Weaviles. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna call her. Call her. Um, I'm thinking maybe like Pharaoh or something. Oh, she's fast. Um, Comet Punch. I feel like that might have been a miss. Oh. Yeah, this was fine. Um, let's... Try... You know, let's just go for the Ultra Ball, you know? It's our first, like, real big encounter of the game. May as well. And that didn't do Jack Diddly Squat. I'm trying to think who I can swap out to. Oh, um, I want to lower it more, but right now we don't have any Pokemon that could possibly put this to sleep. Uh, Jim being sent in there is just asking for a bloodbath. Uh, I feel like Sire with Body Slam would just absolutely destroy him. Uh, Edgebird, I guess we can try. We can try Edgebird. Ooh, the Intimidate lowering the attack. That's a smart idea. No, I see win. That's a spicy meatball. I'm gonna cry so hard one day when I accidentally press no and run away. Um, probably not my best decision, but oof, if I accidentally hit teleport, I'm gonna cry. So let's just try throwing another Ultra Ball and praying. One, two, three. Yeah, alright! So now we got Pharaoh. If you're wondering around calling it Pharaoh, mainly just because it's a cat and it has like gold features. Um I don't and I don't remember the name of what's her face, the Actually you know what yeah, let me look that up. What was her name? Nefertiti? 
Cleopatra, that's it. <laughs> the red scale from our bright pink and yellow it's fucking shiny Pokemon. The red Gyarados was an acting out of our fear. Somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the tales? Uh, your chance, yes? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Chance. I can tell you that you're a trainer with committed considerable skill. If you don't mind, would you help me investigate? Yeah. Excellent. It seems like the Lake of Rage magic are being forced to evolve. Mysterious radio broadcasts coming from the mahogany probably cause of it. In the suspicious souvenir shop, I'll be waiting for you, mahogany town chance. You didn't catch a Gyarados. Uh, I was kidding. I could have sworn that this dude gave you something, but whatever. Um, it turned out not to be a shiny Gyarados, but a shiny Weavile. I am... I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of bummed that it's not, you know, something new. Like... I don't know. It's shiny, it's cool, yeah, but at the same time it's like... A Weavile? Really? I don't know. Like, with the shiny Gyarados, it just... I don't know, felt special because, you know, Gyarados wasn't something you normally catch, like, out in the wild, at least at this point in the game. Maybe you could have, if you're lucky, I don't know. So, not only finding a level 30 Gyarados, but having a level 30 Gyarados that was shiny just kind of be given to you felt kind of special, basically. And, like I said, even though it's probably not fair. We're going to replace you with you. And I don't know how I'm going to make that work in the, the thing down below. Um, I'm going to see if maybe there's a shiny Weavile artwork. But if not, I'll just keep it the way it is now. Maybe I'll try editing the you and saturation. Um, but that took quite a bit. Let's get this started. And I think we'll end the episode there. Dragon, use Hyper Beam. What took you so long, Chance? Just as I thought that some rage straight 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 I am having mild strokes, I apologize. <laughs> this stairs are right here. Chance, we should split up and you check this place, I'll go first. Alright, I found my secret passageway. How did you do that? I thought it was well camouflaged. Or the guys dragon type Pokemon are tough. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of this episode. Um, if you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, follow me on Twitch if you want to just catch up, know what's going on with my life, the series, or just when I go when I go live streaming, and follow me on Twitch to also know when I go live streaming if you have the app. Um, and just come around, chat with me, and just talk, whatever. Um, the streams are pretty chill, pretty quiet, um, slowly growing, but honestly, I had just I just like having fun with all y'all who show up. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and until next time, bye bye.